I track Russian planes. If Putin wanted something from me, I don't think he'd be friendly enough to just DM me. I just started messing around with the data. It's interesting to see how much money some of these people have. It's like $70 million. Life is pretty crazy after I tracked Elon Musk. He asked me to stop. I said no. He totally invested in Twitter because of me. Hey, are you that guy? Uh, right now, we're going up to the parking garage to see if we can get some good pictures of planes. I'm Jack Sweeney, and I'm a student at UCF. I track Elon Musk's plane and the Russian oligarch. Life is pretty crazy after like blowing up all over the internet. So usually the first thing I'll do is like I'll check the planes that are around with my phone. All the planes have their identifiers, like a license plate, and that's all public data so you can identify whose plane it is, that it's registered to Russia, and you can identify who's flying where. I feel like it's behind the clouds. Yeah, I can hear it. My dad works in aviation, so I was inspired by him to get into it. Oh, there it is. We travel a lot, so like, you know, I'd see all the planes at the airport a lot. And that's a, a Sirius Vision jet, which is like a private jet that's like a small owner. As a kid, I was interested in anything that was unique or technology or aviation. And I share the photos on Twitter, or if they're a plane that doesn't have like a picture uploaded yet, I'll put it on one of those websites. And then people have an actual visual of the plane. During COVID, I had a lot of free time and I was interested in Elon Musk and what he was doing and seeing where he was going. And I knew he had a plane, but it wasn't like trackable on the major platforms. I just started messing around with the data that was available and I realized I could start tracking his plane and posting it to Twitter. This is the main program, a thousand lines or more of code. When like I'm done working on it, I'll like test it and then I'll make sure it runs properly. The data all comes from like people that set up their own receivers. Like I have one at my house. That's how like these websites are made. I take this data and automatically make it post to Twitter when something lands or takes off. It's about 10 tweets a day that go out automatically. Elon found out about Elon Jet in December 2020. When he first messaged me, he said, could you take this down as a security risk? He seemed unhappy with air traffic control and how like open it was. He offered me like the $5,000. I was like, could you bring it up to a Tesla? After a while, it wasn't enough to like stop. 5,000 isn't like life changing. So I came up with the figure of 50,000, because that's like about a Tesla Model 3. I don't have a car and it would be nice to have a car. People like knew who I was on Twitter and they're, you know, like the whole Ukraine-Russia conflict. They were like, you know, we should get that Jack Sweeney to start tracking the Russians. And it just blew up again after I did that. My latest two Twitter accounts are Putin Jet and Russian Oligarch Jets. Putin jet is state VIP planes of Russia, so like they might be planes that Putin could be flying on or other high ups. Like one of them flew to the United States to pick up expelled Russian diplomats. And when the story blew up in like a week, they probably got to like 300,000 followers. I can zoom out and see like the world right now. <laughs> You'll just see a hole around Ukraine of no flights. And it's just been like that for days now, you know, no one's flying over. It's interesting to see how many people in Russia have power and how much money some of these people have. You know, they have like huge jets. My family think these are, the two new Twitter accounts are pretty cool. I think they might think they're a little bit better than the Elon jet because there's no like hate about it. After a while, Elon said like he wasn't interested anymore. And then uh, after that, I talked to a reporter and everything blew up and then he blocked me because he didn't seem happy that it was like all over the news. Oh my gosh. Elon's at a TED talk right now and um, he's saying how he wants to get rid of bot accounts on Twitter. 
<laughs> but I don't know if he means like like annoying ones or like real ones. He totally like invested in uh, Twitter because of me. He's not happy. I'm making a sign for a hashtag get Jack his Tesla. We're gonna see if people know who I am and see if we can get Elon's attention. It was pretty cool to have like a discussion over many days with Elon, but he still owes me a Tesla. There's people at UCF that know about the story, but they don't necessarily know it's me in person. Elon blocked me on Twitter, so this is one of the only ways that I could possibly get his attention. So I rented a Tesla for the day. It should be just outside. Uh, yeah, it's a Model 3, so it's pretty cool. These cars are very interesting. You know, you can do all kinds of cool things, like replace the horn, you know. <laughs> He's got good ones. We plan to get the t Tesla today and show it to people. So we're about to go to the student union, where it's really busy around campus, and see if people will tweet about it. Hey, are you that guy that yeah. talks to That's his jet, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. I think he should get his Tesla, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna get a photo of you with the sign. I'll post it to Twitter. Let's go. Jack his Tesla. Let's go. Wait, he, he gave you the Tesla? No, and he uh, blocked me. And so we're just out here trying to get some attention and get me my Tesla. A Tesla's probably like a penny to him, you know? Yeah, and he's trying to spend $43 billion on Twitter now. Did you get banned on Twitter? No, no. No, no? No. Okay. He's got, he got blocked. I'll put it on Twitter. And then I added Elon. <laughs> I think uh, Elon should hit my boy up. Uh, today was pretty well, you know. There's a lot of people that uh, seem to like what I do and the general consensus seems that uh, I should have a Tesla. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Even it, just doing the coding by itself is cool and just to see the program work, but then like when pe other people are interested in it, it's even cooler. I was surprised by s people knowing what I looked like. I didn't know they knew what I looked like. It was a good day in the life of Jack Sweeney. Yeah, I'm excited for whatever happens in the future. There's a lot of cool things that could happen. For the future, I hope I either maybe start a business related to this or get a really nice job related to the plane tracking or software or something related to aviation would be pretty cool.